What's up guys, uh, James Schultz here, Second Mile Service Lawn Care. Uh, time is 4.33. Um, got one more property to cut for the day. I'm um, headed out there right now. Uh, so I'm gonna get it rocked out. Um, I'm in uh, downtown Nashville, um, over off of Jefferson Street. Uh, this is what I'm facing right now. A little traffic. Uh, not a big deal. We'll make it happen. Uh, just want to touch base with you guys, seeing how y'all are doing. Uh, season's winding down. Turn this music down. I don't want to get copyright. Uh, season's winding down, man. We're coming to the uh, coming to the end, man. It's been a good run. Uh, I set goals for myself this year. Uh, three of those goals that I wanted to do, I did. Um, it's completely possible to do. Um, I wanted to get to 20 yards. I've hit 20 yards. Regular client bi-weekly yards. I'm somewhere in the neighborhood of 22 to 25 yards right now, which is good. Um, I'd like to be at 30, 35 by next year. I think it's completely possible. Um, I'm looking at my equipment. I said, uh, I said I wanted to get everything that I needed to be self-sufficient while I was out cutting grass. The most productive um, and, and just just be able to rock out a yard and knock it out in no time. So, got the right trimmers in place, got the right blowers in place. Um, I wanted to pay off my zero turn. My zero turn's paid off. That's done. So that's that's a blessing. Um, I said I wanted to get a bigger mower. I wanted to get a 48. I have a 48. I was looking at getting a 36. I wanted to get a 36 inch walk behind. I was able to do that this year. Um, so I'm running all commercial equipment now. Uh, no homeowner stuff, which is not to say there's anything wrong with homeowner stuff. I started out with um, the most basic of basic of equipment. So it's completely possible. But the goals that I've set for myself this year, I've been able to accomplish. And uh, you guys can too. And it's all about determination and your drive and how bad you want it. You know, if you want to make this small business thing a success, you can do it. Um, it's just a matter about putting forth that time and effort and devoting yourself to it and honoring your craft, mastering your craft, being the best you can be at what you do. And it doesn't necessarily have to be about lawn care. It could be about anything. Um, so I just want to kind of give you guys a little, uh, a little motivational tip, man, and let you know that the season for me has been great. I've done everything I needed to do, and uh, you guys can too. Uh, I'll, I'll holler back at you when I get to this property. What's up, guys? Uh, James Schultz here, Second Mile Service Lawn Care. Uh, on a location, about to cut this yard. Uh, just doing a little quick property walkthrough, taking a look around. Um, let's see, we got uh, we got some leaves on the ground. Not a big deal. Uh, we'll blow those off in the grass. We'll mulch them up. Um, property line, I guess, goes to that brick over there. Um, so. Pretty straightforward yard, kind of small. Uh, probably could have push mowed it, but uh, no big deal. And I haven't started yet, so this is a first for you guys uh, doing a property walkthrough with me before I get started. So pretty cool. Uh, it's kind of an old school house. It's got the chain link fences. Uh, small yard, a little tall, uh, but nothing, nothing, nothing. None of us can't handle. We've all cut taller yards, I'm sure. Um, Let's see, got a weed eater around the house a little bit. Uh, definitely can definitely can edge the sidewalk and stuff right here so we can get that rocking. Um, pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, she's got a lot of leaves, so I think what I'm gonna do is uh, blow them in a pile and uh, blow them in a pile and mulch them up. Um, you know, as a precaution, when you guys are out cutting, I'm sure you all know, uh, I always do walkthroughs before I cut a yard, always, even if, uh, especially if they're Craigslist, there's ones that I just pick up, and I just picked this one up kind of a whim, uh, 4.45 now, and uh, I'm out, uh, I got this, had a lady call me earlier from Craigslist to get this, so, uh, I've had really good luck with it, man, um, as far as what you guys do for business, uh, do what works for you, man, um, they could be flyers, they could be, uh, uh, you know, mail out, 
the uh, you know you mail out two thousand of them at a time or whatever. You know they give you a list of a thousand names and you send them out. You know that kind of thing. Uh, whatever works for you, man. Whatever is going to bring you business. That's what I look for. Um, online, uh, everything online. Everybody wants things convenient. They want it now. Um, so it just it, it seems like it's been working for me, man. And I've I picked up some some pretty good accounts off of it. Just residentials, of course, but. Uh, very good customers, people that want their yards cut either weekly or bi-weekly, and added services are a plus. Uh, they want other stuff done, which is cool. Um, so, been uh, been very lucky about that. Uh, this is the last one of the day. I'm gonna get it rocking. Um, I, I got. We'll get you a little before and we'll get you a little after of it, um, and I'll add it to the video. Um, season is winding down, man. I'm I'm pretty excited. It's been a good year. Uh, Earlier today, um, just there's snags in the road for everybody. Uh, earlier today, I was out and I was going to cut a, uh, I cut a tree down. I don't know if you've seen my uh, video about uh, dropping that tree on Labor Day. I think I had a before and after. It was at the end of the video. Um, that tree I cut down, I was going back to stump grind it to finish it up. I was letting it dry out a little bit. Um, now it's a good time to go ahead and just take it all down. I go out. I rent a piece of equipment today, uh, and this will happen. So you know, this is kind of a you guys know what we, you know you guys can experience what i experience i go and rent the piece of equipment um the guy says everything's good on it i take his word for it i bring it out to the property it's a it's a walk behind stump grinder um it's got a honda engine on it so it's a pretty you'd think it'd be a decent piece of equipment um uh, well if someone doesn't take care of it it's obviously not going to be decent so uh, i try to do the pull start on it uh the whole assembly comes off the side of it um so i mean it could just be the recoil could you know could be the the, the full uh spinning assembly or you know it could just be a pull cord something simple i mean there's no telling um but the guy went on an honor policy with me he said you give me a hundred dollars cash i'll let you rent this for the day my computer system's down uh just come back before five with the equipment i said okay fair enough i do this on good faith and this piece of equipment doesn't start. So what do I do? Well, I, I call around. I'm, I'm trying to scramble. I'm out on the other side of town, far away from this place. Um, and I'm looking for, trying to find a piece of equipment. Uh, every stump grinder is rented out right now. So uh, one of those things, I'm just going to have to make do. So I take it back to the place I rented it from in Hendersonville. Um, they, of course, don't have another stump grinder. So me and this guy, uh, shout out to Sunbelt Rentals in Hendersonville. Uh, they, I always rent equipment from them. They do a, they do have a heck of a job, heck of a job, and they work with you, uh, for sure. Uh, but this guy tried to help me out and fix it, and we couldn't get it to work. We even pulled a uh, pull, we even pulled a whole assembly off a Honda pressure washer, and put it on it. Fired the uh, stump grinder up, got it running, turned it off, tried to turn it on again, and the whole assembly popped off. So. Um, I don't know what we're doing wrong. Um, I, frankly, it, it doesn't matter. Long story short, I didn't have to pay for the equipment because I didn't get to use it. Um, but he told me that I could rent the hydraulic stump grinder at the same price that he quoted me for, for the walk behind stump grinder, the gas powered one, since he didn't have it available. So, I mean, that's pretty cool of him, very admirable. Um, I appreciate that a lot. Um, as far as equipment today, uh, got the 350, uh, 223s. Uh, the Cub Cadet 36. Um, uh, got some topsoil in the back I had for that uh, stump grinding job after I got done. Um, got the handheld two stroke mix and the uh, uh, and the straight gas. So, uh, truck's running good after I got it fixed, man. Very fortunate, uh, blessed to get it fixed up, and I'm glad it was something minor and something that could be fixed and wasn't too expensive. Um, so. It's one of those things, man. I'm looking forward uh, to next season and, and potentially getting another truck. Uh, we'll see. I'm either having two trucks or, um, you know, two work trucks or, or running a newer truck, maybe, uh, maybe like a three-quarter ton or a, a, a diesel. I, I'm not sure yet. Um, gas does me just fine for what I do, um, and I don't pull a lot of stuff. So um, I actually got to uh, put a bid in to do a tree job. Um, I have a couple little small ones lined up, but I put a bid in to do a big tree job. Ended up getting the bid, uh, so I'm going to start on it on Sunday. 
and I'm renting a towable bucket truck. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of one of those. Uh, you'll have to check them out. Um, they're just like a towable like cherry picker. You can get in it and it'll lift you up and it'll go up to 36 foot high. Um, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna back it in the lady's backyard. We're gonna unhitch it uh, And it's got four hydraulic legs that come out that hold it down in place and stabilize it So you're able to cut from everywhere um, and she's got a lot of high high stuff. It's a two-story house So we're gonna trim that up and I'm gonna try to get some video footage of that man That'd be a cool job uh, to check out and it's gonna be a first for me for renting a piece of equipment that big uh, So I'm very excited about that and uh, I love doing tree work. I don't get enough of it um, but when I do get it, I do enjoy doing it. So uh, I'll try to guys bring you bring you guys along for that. Uh, I'll let you go, and I'll get you a little before and after of this yard, man. So here's a before. As you can see, we got leaves. Edging hasn't been done; needs to be weed eated. Uh, and I'll get you an after. All right, guys. What's up guys? Uh, James Shields here, second mile servants lawn care. Uh, out on location. Uh, new property picked up via Craigslist. Tell you what man, it's been a uh, it's been a good season and uh, still picking up some good work off of it. I've been very fortunate, very blessed. Um, if any of you guys are familiar with Nashville, this is uh, I'm over off of Thompson Lane. Uh, Nice, nice older house. Uh, I'll let you check it out. So, we got the house. Um, decent sized front yard compared to what I'm used to. Um, not too big, but definitely can cut it. Definitely glad I got the 48. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that right there. But that fence, man. That little bitty gate. That's going to be an issue. This is a new one, like I said, I picked up. You guys are with me on location. So, I'm taking a look around. Pretty big backyard. Um, looks like they're trying to go grass. Got a sprinkler right here. Definitely need to watch out for that. Got some grass growing. Must have dogs. That's what it looks like to me. Um, like I said, it shouldn't take too long. It's flat mowing, so that's good. Um, there's this other gate right here. Side gate. Just kind of a little side driveway kind of thing. Uh, or it's big, man. It goes down a little ways. So, got down this edge over here. So, I'm going to get it rocking out, man. Um, I'll take a couple before and a couple afters, man. We'll let y'all check it out. All right. Talk to you soon, guys. Keep making money. Stay up. And, uh, break comments. Guys, this is it. Uh, end of the day. Time is, let's see that. Seven eighteen. Eight thousand steps for the day. Just got back in the house. Um, not didn't cut too many yards today, but just had a had a little bit of driving in between. I'm sorry about that light. I just put new uh, LED floodlights in. Um, 36 is on the trailer. Got it uh, sharpened up. Just got done sharpening the cub. Um, so long day, man. Uh, push mower's good. This is, uh, just so I don't have to take my blades off, uh, this is what I use to sharpen mine. Uh, it's a Ryobi 18 volt uh, lithium angle grinder. Um, very nice. Uh, I like their tools, man. I think for the money, I think they're great. I think they're a good starter set and you can build off of them. And they make decent stuff, man. I haven't had one of their tools that I don't like. Um, you know, drill, sawzall, the miter saw, everything I have, I, I love it. Um, been very impressed with it. Um, Mojack used it for the third time, so it worked good. Uh, still kind of sketchy about this big mower and me underneath it, but it uh, it does the job, so it's all good. Um, so it's been a it's been a pretty good day, man. I hope you guys are doing well. Hope y'all are making money. 
Um, real quick, I just wanted to uh, I just wanted to give you guys a shout out. I just want to thank everyone for watching my videos. Um, everyone that rate, comments, and subscribes, and uh, just keeps us keeps this community positive, man. And and we're all in it together, and we're all making money, and we're all doing what we love to do. And uh, I think that's a great thing. Um, I tell my mom and my family all the time about you know how I got friends on on YouTube and friends and you know that I I'd consider you guys friends in real life. And um, you know I appreciate the advice, I appreciate the encouragement. You know it means a lot and. Um, and I try to reciprocate it and give it out to you guys if I can. Um, so I, I just want to thank you, um, and I appreciate it. Like I said, I got some uh, stuff in the works for the winter time. Um, got some air and overseeding jobs coming up. I've uh, been putting off, so time to get those done. A couple tree jobs I got to rock out. Um, so looking forward to getting those done too. Having a little extra money. Um, real quick, I want to talk to you guys about some stuff. Uh, I picked this up at Ace Hardware. Um, I don't know if you can see this or not. Uh, kills high yield concentrate weed and grass killer. Um, very nice, great quality stuff. Um, I've used it in my pump sprayer uh, and my backpack sprayer, and uh, I've been nothing but impressed with it. Um, it's it's expensive, but I mean all concentrate poisons are. Um, but this one is a little nicer than uh, Roundup and Ortho. And the spectra side, um, the just the quality. It's got a higher higher yield in it, so it's it's a lot more powerful, and it, it'll uh, you know it does the it does the job a lot better. So it's you know definitely nice, um, and it, it's it's great stuff, man. I recommend it. Um, I've been I've been going through these like crazy. Um, I'm looking to buy a big one of these, so I'll probably end up getting one of those next year, a big gallon of it, just to have on hand. Um, all the tools have been running good. Um, been using the pole saw. Uh, been busting out the articulating hedge trimmer. Um, I really like it. A little heavy, but uh, very nice for stuff. So it's it's been nice to have, uh, just so you don't have to reach back behind and then you know reach on top and kind of stand in the bush. Um, I picked up some new uh, some new tools. Uh, I got this uh, this round point shovel at Ace. It was eleven bucks on sale last month new square point um, and they gave me that free grain scoop over there um, and I got a digging fork so got some new stuff man uh, just to have it's it's nice to have an extra if you got somebody helping you so that's what it amounts to um, this is one of my saws I use a lot um, Husqvarna uh, it's a 16 inch it's a 435 X torque uh, very good saw pretty lightweight um, but it, it will still you know drop the big stuff which is nice um so um we've been uh we've been rocking and rolling man getting it knocked out um i don't know man we might have maybe two more cuts just depends uh, maybe some leaf cleanup you know it's one of those things that's all it's all dependent on what the what the weather's going to do and what the lord will allow so um uh, looking forward to looking forward to finishing strong and Rocking it out. I actually got done sharpening my blades and I went ahead and took my, my grass shoot off the side um, of the cup. I think it's going to be a lot nicer for um, getting through gates and stuff. I don't have to lift it up. and It's kind of a pain going around trees and that kind of stuff, so it'll help out. Um, right now, we are at 39.4 hours on the cup, so um, I haven't really... I've been using my 36 when I can because I got it and I want to keep it keep it running good um, and it works great on the small yards um, and I'm one of those guys man I'm not afraid to push mow if I got to so I will bust the Toro out it's got a Kohler on it so you know it's gonna it's gonna do what it's supposed to do so um, I got some new shirts coming in some winter shirts uh, some long sleeves I'm looking forward to getting so I'm pretty excited about that I'm gonna go pick those up sometime this week um, I might try to do another video tomorrow. Uh, I got some, got my commercial I got to do. Um, I got a hedge trimming job and uh, right about uh, grass cutting as well. They want their yard cut. So. I'll try to, I'll try to get you guys in on that. And, uh, this is me, man, signing off. You know, uh, calling it tonight. I'm working late into the wee hours, getting everything ready for tomorrow. So, hope you guys have a good one. Uh, Y'all stay up, keep making money, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.